Mr. Yule fell on his knife. Can you possibly understand? Yes, I understand, sir. Mr. Tate was right. What do you mean? Well, it'd be sort of like shooting a mockingbird, wouldn't it? Thank you for the children. You would like to say goodnight to Jem, wouldn't you, Mr. Arthur? Come right here. Here's Jem. He's asleep. Dr. Reynolds gave him some medicine. You can touch him if you want to. He wouldn't let you if you were awake. Good night, Jem. Will you take me home? Here, Mr. Arthur, bend your arm like this. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Arthur. Whoa. If Miss Stephanie Crawford was watching from her upstairs window, she would see Arthur Radley escorted me down the sidewalk as any gentleman would do. I never saw him again. Neighbors bring food with death and flowers with sickness and little things in between. Boone was our neighbor. He gave us two soap dolls, broken watch and chain, a pair of good luck pennies, and our lives. What neighbors give in return. We never put back into the tree what we took out of it. We had given him nothing and it made me sad. Atticus was right. You never really truly know a man until you stand in his shoes and walk around in them. Just standing on the Radley's porch was enough. As I made my way home, I thought, what a thing to tell Jem tomorrow. He'd be so mad he missed it, he wouldn't speak to me for days. As I made my way home, I thought Jem and I would get grown, but there wasn't much left for us to learn. Is Jem awake yet? Yeah, sleeping peacefully. He won't be awake until morning. Are you staying up? Just for an hour or so. Go to bed, Scout. You've had a long day. No, I'm going to stay up for a little bit. Ah, uh, suit yourself. What you reading? Something that Jim's called The Great Ghost. Why'd you pick that one? Honey, I don't know. I just picked it up. One of the few things I haven't read. Could you read it out loud for me, please? It's real scary. No. You've had enough scaring for a while. This is too... I had a kiss. I wasn't scared. Hmm. Okay. The Great Ghost. By Secretary Hawkins, Chapter 1. I heard what he said, wasn't asleep at all, about a ship and three fingered stoner boys. And they chased him and never could catch him because they didn't know what he looked like. And Atticus, when they finally saw him, he hadn't done any of those things. Atticus, he was real nice. Most people are a scout when you finally see them. Thinking back to my childhood in Maycomb, it was a great place for Jim and I to grow up. Being an adult now and raising two children with Dill Harris, a specific, specific lesson is being constantly stressed in right Grew up at a time when the do. color of skin was more important than anything else. I'm teaching my son Arthur and daughter Cal that you can never really know a man until you see him in his shoes walk around in them, and then it is a sin if to I kill could. a lot of people. Scout, Mr. Ewell fell on his knife. <laughs> How can you possibly? Ewell, it's Ewell. 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 Take 17. No. Scout, Mr. Ewell. Fell on his knife. What can you possibly understand? Yeah, don't change! On his knife. Keep your distance, but <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, can you understand? Glad you're a vet, because you can't oh, do Oh, here. Okay. By Sikarty Hart Hawkins, Chapter 1. <gasps> Secretary. Holy Christ. Oh my God, it's freezing! <clears throat> This wasn't shut tight, that's why. Oh, that's good. Most people are Don't scouts. Say it. How far away? Oh god. Can you possibly understand? Oh my god! 
Just say, can you possibly? Can you possibly? Can you possibly? Can you possibly? God, Bill. That was your life. Say, I did perfect, honey, huh? Uh-huh. And then I say, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean? I like when you You know what? It'd help if you have the cards open. Song. 